Happy Sunday, setters. So last week, we had the Fed meeting. Jay Powell raised it 25 basis point on the interest rate, which is the slowest since 2022. Is it a signal of the bear market is ending? I believe so, because based on my technical analysis, I'm seeing a lot of bullish sign on the stock market. Tesla already increased it almost 90%. I have two stocks potentially could do the same. So do stay with me till the end, which I will reveal these two particular stocks to you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, I want to explain why I always start off analyzing the US stock market, in particular S&P 500 first. Stock market is a risk on sentiment asset. So I want to have a feel, is the market participant having a risk on or risk off sentiment, okay? When they're risk on, meaning they invest more money into the risky asset like stocks or crypto that will have an impact on certain currency because some currency is a risk off currency some of them are risk on so you might have heard that before japanese yen is more a safe haven currency so when people want to take less risk such as the stock market money will flow into japanese yen or maybe gold therefore stock market lead the currency market even though the currency market is 6.6 .6 or 7 trillion daily volume per day therefore i start off with the stock market just to get the feel of the sentiment let's get right in into the s p 500 chart okay this is the s p 500 chart uh, i use the platform called ig it is one of the best trading platform uh, in the uk we saw this channel i said last week it's very important that we stay above and continue to break higher which we did which is very bullish i know we are seeing a little bit of re uh, reversal on uh, thursday friday but you really need to know things don't go up in a straight line let me draw that it go up like a staircase so now actually i present another buying opportunity all right so when and where would I would like to buy? You see the blue box around this area. Uh, let me get you the exact prices, which is around the 4,030, 4,040 area. Coincide with the 20 EMAs because it's bullish. I don't want to have a strong retracement, okay? I want a weak retracement. So tomorrow could be Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm gearing up to buy, all right? so. Two more days one or two more days retracement back to this blue box 40 so 4030 4040 area then i will plan to be a buyer another fact that i want to point out is the nasdaq you can see this is not a fake out the channel is now cleanly broken higher therefore i want to be a buyer where do i want to buy nasdaq i will be potentially planning to buy at this area this blue box area so coincide with the 20 year maze around the 12,080 area is the area that i look to be a buyer okay i would not take both trade if i'm trading the s p 500 i will just stick with trading the s p 500 however i will be looking to invest on some of the nasdaq etf would you like to know which one that I'm going to invest? I will only share that with my member in my private trading group, which is a Facebook group. You can join that by clicking the link below. Then you will be able to see which NASDAQ ETF that I'm planning to buy. Thank you. So NASDAQ is bullish. And then we have a look at Dow Jones. Dow Jones Industrial is actually the weakest out of S&P 500, NASDAQ, and uh, well, the three main index. So Dow Jones is the weakest. Well, each is a, it's not a bad thing, actually, because if you think about it, Dow Jones now is weaker, but the money is flowing into S&P 500 and NASDAQ. So people are taking more risk because NASDAQ and S&P 500 has more growth stock in there and Dow Jones Industrial has more value stock. So money are flowing out from value stock into growth stock. So participants are taking more risk. And when they take more risk, that's more 
potential on the bullish move on S&P 500 and Nasdaq. Nasdaq tend to move a lot faster than uh, S&P and Dow Jones anyway. So I don't see it's a bad thing. Like I said earlier, I will share which two particular stocks that could be the next Tesla. Stay with me till the end, then I will reveal that two potential stocks that could be the next Tesla. Thank you. So Dow Jones Industrial, okay, the uh, the price action is not bearish at all because we are now trying to build uh, a base in here and break through resistance the 34,500. I see it breaking, but probably not as, as aggressive as NASDAQ anyway, okay? Another index I look at is Russell, okay? Russell is a small cap stock, Russell 2000 in the US, you can see my blue box already broken. Boom, the first resistance and bam, reach to the next resistance. Small retracement, I see it going higher. So look at the all overall picture in the indice as a technical trader, everything breakthrough resistance. So now money are flowing back into the stock market. Therefore, my predictions seems like the bear market has already ended so i am buying could i be wrong yes pro probably but i will have a way to protect my asset and looking at the reward to risk it's worth me risking some of my asset into the stock market right moving on to the uh, forex market which is i don't have much plan in that we see our uh, the dollar index had a little bounce on that. However, we're now back to could be the, the resistance. We are on a daily downtrend, weekly downtrend. So maybe one or two days, we could see a reversal. Would I sell the dollar? Mm, probably not. I'll use it into my advantage to buy the, uh, the stock indices because we're having a co uh, inverse correlation. So when the stock market go up, we should see a bit of downturn in uh, in the US dollar. So I'll use that into my um, probability to, uh, to buy the US stock market. All right. Uh, we do see Aussie sell off a bit but then again we do have a, a strong support around the 68.75 on the australian dollar could i buy it uh, unless i can't get into s p 500 then maybe a consideration but my main focus is the s p 500 okay moving on to euro euro dollar is the opposite side of uh, dollar index because it's weighted about 60 percent of the dollar index yes we do see uh some stronger selling but again this 107.50 area is a major support so let's see i would like to see it stay above and continue higher like I said, I will only use it as a reference to buy the stock market. So my plan is to be a buyer of the stock market. British pound. Yes, we did see per, perhaps a short term resistance around this 124 area. But then again, we have a support around the 11940 area here. So I would like to see price fund support and continue to break higher. Would it break this? We shall see anyway. So. That's all for the Forex size. I'm going to move on to the final one that I'm going to see is cryptocurrency. Plans has no change, right? This uh, Bitcoin is ranging in this area now. So the buying momentum is weakening. Am I less bullish? No, I'm still bullish because longer term, I still see price going higher, but I will not buy around this area coincide this is a monthly pivot if you not understand pivot level it's another layer of support or resistance so around the 21,000 20,000 area would be the area that I will be start accumulating to buy if you'd like to know when I would like to take profits that's a video that I done on my YouTube video to explain also, if you are a member in my private group, I will share when I buy it and when I potentially will sell it as well. Simple to join. The link is the description below. So uh, yeah, if you'd like to join, click the link below. Final one is Ethereum. Ethereum is quite similar to Bitcoin. Price is getting, well, it's at a soft level or resistant anyway. 
so i like to see it come back to around this area which is i think around 1400 yeah 13 1400 area then i will start accumulate some and then look for profit maybe end of the year okay so quick recap i'm still bullish on the u.s stock indice i explain why because all major indices are breaking higher fed potentially will slow down raising the interest rate currency side i'm not a big fan but i'll use it as a reference to go long on stock and then uh cryptocurrency i'm waiting for retracement before i accumulate some okay so thank you so much for staying until the end i'm now going to review which two stock that could potentially be the next tesla so tesla already gone up from a hundred dollar to over 190 dollar which is over 90 percent gain in two months or less than two months time a lot of people said to me oh have we missed tesla I think you can still buy some for the next uh, pullback on that, which I already done that on last week's video or in my in my private group. However, if we have missed the bottom of Tesla, there's two particular companies do similar things for New York and Expand. They are a Chinese EV company. I see a lot of demands from the Chinese EV company and I see a lot of good things happening in the EV uh, sectors in China. So Elon Musk already said the second competitor will come from China. So fundamentally, if they're going to be a, a good competitor to Tesla, that could potentially explode their share prices as well. Okay. So therefore, Neo and Xpan are top on my list to buy. In fact, I already bought some. I will do a technical analysis which price I think is good price to get in and how you can use dollar cost averaging into your favor for your investing only members will be able to see it so therefore if you're not in my private group drop the link below you'll be able to see what price I potentially going to buy on Neo and Xpan thank you so much for watching and see you guys next week take care